7. Our team has subunits such as CAD Design, Notebook, and Programming. Each team member specializes in one or two areas. Experienced members teach newer members. If conflicts arise, we discuss pros and cons to reach an agreement. We have regular meeting times to plan and complete tasks efficiently. We create and follow a build schedule to compete effectively at tournaments. To spread the word about our team in FIRST, we use Twitter, YouTube, and our website. We encourage open team communication and work with FTC teams to share and learn ideas. Our bright team colors and our super spirit reflect our enthusiasm. Our mascot, Ace, our team cheer, and our motto inspire everyone around us. Our spirit reflects in the creative elements on our robot, including bright color 3D printed parts and colorful side shields. We meet with experienced professionals to improve our robot design, building, and programming. We participate in outreaches to share first values in our community and encourage young students to engage in STEM. We attend events such as Turnpike and AMD robot demonstrations, Maker Fair, FTC events such as Build a Day and Creo Workshop. We also enjoy mentoring rookie FLL and FTC teams. Between registration fees, part costs, and other expenses, we require a lot of resources. Super 7 continuously updates a funding plan which includes a budget summary, risks, and mitigation plan to overcome obstacles. We get our funds from grants, sponsorships, member dues, and parent contributions. We raise money by demonstrating our robot at various companies and events. We are on track with our funding goals. Our strategy is to play offense which drives our design. Autonomous positions us to dump climbers. In Teleop, we dump climbers, sweep debris, trigger the first two zip liners, and score in the second basket, getting us 150 points. We can also dump in the first basket to work flexibly with Alliance partners. Our goal is to dump in the third basket and reach 250 points by League Championship. We use Creo to design an algorithm to test the physics of our robot parts. We perform calculations for robot stability. We create a list of tasks needed to be completed at each meeting and make prototypes out of cardboard and old Tetrix parts. We create hardware and software synergy by programming a reverse option in the controls to make ramp driving easier. Our drive team collaborates with the programming team to reliably control the robot. This is completed several days before the competition so our drive team has ample practice time. We don't make major changes during competitions. Our robot is structurally sound with minimal technical complications. It has a chain drive train with four 5-inch wheels that allow us to freely and effectively climb up the mountain. For redundancy, we have two motors that drive one chain in each side. Our robot is modular. We design parts separately and integrate them to accomplish our scoring objectives. For this season's robot, we decided to use Actibotics parts rather than Tetrix because they're more versatile. We use a commercial ball bearing slide and a 3D printed double string spool as our linear slide. Other modules include color, optical distance, and gyroscopic sensors to assist in autonomous and a sweeper made from PVC pipes. Through multiple brainstorming sessions, we added some unique elements to our robot such as a dispenser with a curved sweeper. Our multifunctional modules include the linear slide which dumps debris into goals and stabilizes our robot on the ramp and the climber dispenser that also flips the ball carrier into position. Thanks for listening to our video! 